Hi everyone. In the previous part of history of microbiology, we had gone with the introduction and I said that we will study uh, some detailed contributions of some of the scientists and in this part, we will discuss about Mr. Anthony von Leeuwenhoek. Anthony von Leeuwenhoek, who lived from 1632 to 1723, is credited as the discoverer of, of the microbes of the or the microbial world. He was a draper and a haberdasher and owned a small uh, dry goods shop in Welt Holland where he sold clothes to the wealthy ladies of the city. He was also a qualified super, uh, what we call as survivor and official wine taster of the town. As a hobby, he used it to grind the lenses and make lenses. He often used a magnifying glass to study the waves of the various types of the cloth. But since the lenses were not so good, Leeuwenhoek set himself up to grind more perfect lenses. And he fixed his lenses, placing them between two silver or brass plates riveted together. The opening between the plates was less than one by six of an inch. The specimen to be uh, what we call as studied was mounted on a metal plate in front of the screw. Uh, during his lifetime, Leeuwenhoek constructed more than 200 such microscopes and he was so successful in grinding the lenses uh, that he gave up textile business and took to full-time lens making. And the microscopes of Leeuwenhoek could magnify objects about 200 to 300 times. With his microscope, Leeuwenhoek observed a variety of things mainly out of his curiosity like uh, head uh, fibers, plant structures, crystals, and then insects, insects eye, a variety of fluids such as pond water, blood, etc. Scrapings from his own teeth and the transparent tail fin of fish were absorbed by him. For some 50 years, Leeuwenhoek kept meticulous records and made accurate drawings of his observations. He examined, bled, and discovered some tiny microbes, which are nothing but RBC, which we are now call as erythrocytes. He examined yeast and found that they are made up of tiny round particles. Leeuwenhoek's greatest decline to fame in the field of microbiology, however, was his discovery and description of microbes where he called them as animal cules. He found them in a variety of sources like rainwater, pond water, pepper grain, infusion, scrapings from his own teeth. He was uh, astonished to see them alive moving to and fro in the field of his microscope. All the main types of unicellular microorganisms like protozoa, algae, yeast and bacteria were first described by him as early as in uh, 1676. Leeuwenhoek had been corresponded uh, with the British Royal Society and used it to send communications regarding his microscope observations uh, in surrounding around the year of 1674, he described them as very little animal cues, which we now identify them as protozoa. His length, that is his uh, uh, eighth letter, which he wrote on October 9, 1676, contained a detailed description of the microscopes. The descriptions was accompanied by accurate sketches in his own words like this. That means about all these things. In the year 1675, he wrote like this. I discovered living creatures in rainwater, which had stood but a few days in a new earthen pot glazed blue within. This invented me to view this water with great attention, especially those little animal cues appearing to me 10,000 times less than those which may be perceived in the water with naked eye. So this is how he wrote the letter to the Royal Society. 
he was accurate in his description and we know for sure that we whatever he absorbed must have been a variety of fungi algae protozoa bacteria etc on june 16 65 1675 he reported that while examining well water that means previously it was a rain water now he is going to take the well water into which he had put a pepper grain I discovered in a tiny drop, that means Antony von Leeuwenhoek discovered a tiny drop of water, incredibly many little animal cues, and these of diverse sorts and sizes. They move with bendings as a eel always swims with its head in front and never tail first. At these animal cues swam as well backwards as forwards, though their motion was very slow. So obviously what Leeuwenhoek saw were the bacteria in uh, mobile bacteria. In 1683, he described and sketched different forms of animal cule rods, sprayers, and then spiral shapes, which are nothing but the morphological forms of bacteria. So these are the things that you can see the spiral form. Then here you're having the cocci okay so rod shapes all these things this was the first recorded observation of bacteria and even today his morphological classification of animal cules holds good for bacteria so along with this he also had some sort of other uh, contributions okay like he observed the seeds and embryos of the plants and the small invertebrates and he provided the confirmation to william Hart. Harvey blood circulation theory. Then he discovered the RBC cells and the existed world of protozoa. He observed the muscle fiber striations and the nuclei of uh, blood cells of fish. We know that this is an exception. Generally, the RBC cells do not possess the nuclei, but the blood cells of fish possess the nuclei that he observed in the year 1682 and the myelin sheath of now further in the year 1770. So the fundamental observation in the bacteriology started from the invention of the microscope by Mr. Leeuwenhoek. So because of all these considerations, he was going to be considered as the father of bacteriology, father of hematology, protozoology, histology, etc. So here, uh, because of his uh, uh, aquatic microscope construction, all these things, he was uh, became so popular for his microscope. Even the Queen of England and Russia visited him to see through his microscope. So though uh, Leeuwenhoek, however, did not go beyond the describing the microscope, he never tried to associate them with their surroundings as causative agents. Also nor did he reveal the secret of his technique of grinding the lenses. During the time of Leeuwenhoek and even later, microscope observations were regarded as an idle hobby with no practical relevance. So that's how it was stopped. And this is all uh, about the contributions of Mr. Leeuwenhoek in the field of microbiology. Thank you.